matter what it will cost me. It doesn't matter what price I want to pay. Lord, just give me the grace. I will follow through and do your word. Oh God, help me. That my Lord, let your word affect me. Let me be a reflection of the gospel. Lord, let the gospel be reflected through me. Let my words and my action. Oh God, preach the gospel within the church and without the church. In my workplace, let us see through Christianity. Let my life preach the message. Let my life convict others, just like the life of Paul. You see, Paul the apostle told the Galatian church, he said, where then is the blessedness you speak of? For I bear you record that if it had been possible, you would have plucked out your eyes and have given them to me. That was a level to which they saw Paul as somebody that was sent of God. Paul reflected on the, on the, on the commitment and they had when they had the gospel. Do, we have, do you still have the same commitment as us yesterday, yesterday, yesterday? Can we truly say that the way we preach the word, the way we obey the word, the letter of the word, the spirit of the word, we are still doing the same thing today? The grace that attended our fellowship with God, our fellowship to one another, is that grace still there? The humility of life. The commitment and the sacrifice that we are we're prepared to make when we first believe, it is still there. Herself not coming. Herself not coming. Do we still prefer, do we still honor, in honor, do we still prefer one another? The former affection that we have through God's grace, do we still reflect it today? I pray the Lord will give us the grace that we will not just hear the word, but the word will transform us and our life will transform others. Our testimony will transform us in Jesus' name. Brethren, let us talk to the Lord. God has given us this message so that we can be what we ought to be. The love and the affection of the Galatians was beginning to wane. They were no more appreciative of their leaders. They were no more appreciative of the world. They were beginning to say, can this be true? Can this be this? But God said, as Paul was telling them, that you should continue the way you started. Church, God is saying, we must continue the way we started. That holiness without which no man shall see the Lord, we must continue the way we started. That spirit of humility, moderation in everything, the Lord said, we must continue as we started. The former, graces we, the former grace we had, the grace not to be loud, the great grace not to want to vote self. Let's pray and say, God, give me, let me continue to keep that grace in the name of Jesus. Let's talk to the Lord. Let's talk to the Lord. The Lord does not delight in the story of yesteryears. He just wants us to be current. He wants our story to be consistent and recurrent, and to continue in the will and in the word of God. Brethren, let's cry and pray this day, and tell the Lord, Lord, I know you have called me. That you don't want this failing attitude, this failing attitude, this non-commitment to the world as workers in the church. In the days gone by, when it's time for workers meeting, where we're not running and speeding to be at the, at the, at the workers meeting, we will give, we, we, we will be prepared to sacrifice even our job to be at programs. Do we still have that commitment today? I will see as fervent as we are in the time past. Let's pray. Let's rediscover our first love. Lord, bring me to the place of my first love. This attitude, this attitude of, well, I'll just do the best I can. No, we'll not say, I will give everything, I will do the best for the Lord. Not just, well, whatever I can, I will do it. No, I must do the best I can because nothing but the best is good for the master. God is saying, and he's admonishing us today, as brethren, that we should no longer, we should not turn to the old religion, syncretic religion, Religious practices. The church must not become like the world. The church must, make, must be careful that we don't become, we become orthodox. We must make sure that we follow the living word, the gospel truth. We are not just following 
rhythm. We are not just following tradition, but we are following the guidance and the leading of the Spirit. And God is using our Father in the Lord to direct us and to guide us and show us new perspective of the gospel. The new approach to the spread of the gospel. We will not quarrel, we will not fight, we will not query. We will say, Lord, if this is your leading and it's consistent with your word, we will do all we can. We are going to do it. Let's pray and talk to the Lord. That's what the Lord is looking for. A heart like that of a child. Obedience like that of a child. That when God is bringing a new understanding, a new revelation, a new perspective, a new approach, the doctrine is still the same. The, 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 the doctrine is still the same. The, 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 the affirmation of the truth is still the same. But the method is changing. The approach is changing. We will say, Lord, this is your will. We are going to do your will. We are going to do your purpose. We are going to carry out your will in the name of Jesus. Let's pray and talk to the Lord that we will spend time in prayer as ambassadors of Christ to make sure that there's a reawakening grace, reawakening righteousness in the church, reawakening righteousness in the heart of our believer, in our own parish, in the place where the Lord has called us as workers, as leaders, as members of the church, house leaders, who will spend time in the place of prayer to make sure the spirit of righteousness, the spirit of holiness is, our, is, no, is awakened in the heart of the people. The fear of the Lord is renewed daily in the heart of the people. Brethren, let's pray that we are, we'll be full, personally we are fully persuaded and then we'll go out to persuade others. And I believe the Lord will keep us and the Lord will uphold us and the church will be the better for it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father, we just thank you for this day. We we'll bless you for your word that we have heard. We we'll thank you for the challenge you have put before us. That Lord God, you want us to be involved in helping the young believers to become like you, even us to become more like you every day of our life. Father, we are praying and asking those things that the devil has brought along our journey, those things that the devil has brought along our way, that we God be, has caused us to lose focus. I pray, Father, you will take it out of our way. Father, you will cleanse us from it in Jesus' name. Father, we are praying and asking that, Lord God, that every one of us will recommit ourselves to following through this truth that you are passing on to us through our Father in the Lord, in Jesus' name. I pray, God, everything that the devil has set up in, the, in our hearts in the time past, to begin to query the leadership, to begin to query the method, to begin to query the approach. Lord, I pray that in the name of the Lord, you will help us to repent. And I know we'll come back to the Bible and to obey, Lord God, the things that are showing us and to go the way you want us to go in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, that the emphasis on holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. The cardinal truth of the scripture will not lose it. We will not lose sight of it in Jesus' name. Father, we will not go back to pursuing the traditions of men that will not save anybody, to pursuing the practice of the world that will not engender holiness and righteousness, to continue, to, to continue in the things, O oh Lord God, that are men, man, men made, that does not help the will of God. I pray, Lord, help us to jettison them and to focus on your word and to focus on your truth. Lord, thank you because we know you will do it. We we'll bless you because you will do it. Lord, Father, we're committing our Father in the Lord into your hands as he rededicates himself, as he continues constantly in following your leading and your guidance. Lord God in heaven, that whatever men may throw at him, whatever people may throw at him, whatever word that may throw at him, he will, he will not look back. Lord, he will continue steadfastly to the end in Jesus' name. I pray for all our leaders, Father God, that we will be like our Father. We will be like our Father in the Lord. We will follow his example in our commitment. We will follow his, his example in, his, in, in, in our sacrifices. We will follow his example in our exposition of the truth in Jesus' name. Father, we will bless you. We will worship your name. Father, we will thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Joy 
in the city. Joy in your life, joy in your family, and joy everywhere in Jesus' name. It's a prophecy specifically for you this December 2022. If Jesus takes off his hand from upholding the earth, the stars, the moon, the sun, everything will collapse. But fret not, GCK Authority has announced the next level move. Christ comes and intervenes in your life. In the hospital there, you will not die. Christ, your great transformer, this December will lead you to triumph. Zoom into your December 2022. From the land of honor and integrity comes two-in-one GCK live in Ekiti State, Southwest Nigeria, the Global Crusade and Retreat, December 22 to 27, 2022. A new level of Impact Academy for Youth, Young Adults and Professionals, titled Recharge to Excel, December 27, 2022, at 0600 hours GMT, all broadcasts live on satellite, radio, television, and all our social media platform. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi says, You'll praise God. Amen. You'll give your testimony. And more, as excellent worship comes from the USA with Jonathan White, our guest music minister. GCK, the gospel to every creature. 